Hey guys, this is a, well, a Bioshock 2 multiplayer game. I said I would uh, upload a few, and here we are. So we're playing in the medical pavilion thing, I guess. Um, yeah, so yeah, medical pavilion. I'm going to start with my little one, which has the nail gun. Um, so yeah, I'm using electricity as a plasmid, also a shotgun, and uh, so yeah, dash, and I got my first enemy, that owns me. You know what, screw this, I'm changing to my class that has a shotgun, an elephant gun, elect, no, freeze, and arrow dash. And this is pretty much what I use for the rest of the game. So, let's go. I got my elephant gun. I mean, there's a turret there, so I'm gonna freeze that shit. So this multiplayer is pretty fun. It's pretty balanced. Um, I have all the guns unlocked, and in this game I didn't have all the plasmids, but currently I do. Oh, excuse me. Jeez. But um, yeah, so this is called the elephant gun. It's basically a uh, double-barreled oh! rifle. It kind of looks like a shotgun. It's actually a rifle. It's the long-range sniper weapon of the game. Obviously, it's Bioshock, so there's, you know, not really wide open areas as you're in the tunnels here. And I get a nice headshot on that guy. And this guy, since it only has two shots because it's double barreled, take out my shotgun to finish him off, but my turret gets the kill. So I'm just gonna kinda hang out here around my turret and get some kills. Okay. That check, thing, and now I'm winning. I didn't know where that came from. Yeah, I, I think somebody over there might have hit me from a distance, I'm not sure. But whatever. I'm trying to long range people. I don't know, this gun is for long ranging, but you can't really long range at all in this game. So that person's probably gonna come from over here, but I don't see them, and I don't wanna get too far from my turret. Um, it's a good idea to camp the turret sometime. A lot of people don't do it. If you stay around your turret, nobody can hack it. You can kill people who come by, and you can use it to your advantage to help you because your turret isn't really going to get too much kills on its own. Anyway, so a big daddy suit has appeared on the map, so I decided to leave and go look for it, and oh, there it is. He's stuck on the desk there. But uh, yeah, so get inside the big daddy suit and let's, let's kill some things with the river gun, which is a three hit kill. point, um, I'm kind of, I'm tied for first with a death rate 77, um, so, yeah, You're on top of the heat. shoot this guy, now I'm on top, death rate 77 is in second, and, uh, you can break some parts of the levels in this game, um, like that wall for instance, there you can tell if you can break things or not. Sometimes you can, sometimes it's harder than others. And my proximity mines keep getting random kills, so now I'm on a kill streak. You get, nice experience. you get like 50 experience for every three kills you go every three kill streaks you go on. In death like team deathmatch and free for all. This is free for all by the way. Which is called Survival of the Fittest, I believe. Uh, actually called free for all. Um but yeah, so in all games that I just killed Death Raid, lol. Anyway, so in all those games that are KD wise, and I die as the Big Daddy. Um, so by this point, I have two deaths and uh, 12 kills. So I'm 2 and 12. 
I meant to, no, two and, two and thirteen, no, thirteen and two. Thirteen and two. That's thirteen and two. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get seven more kills, hopefully. This, uh, seven, and there's death right again. I freeze him, and I kill him with my machete. I complete two trials. Or don't, no, I complete one trial, and it gives me an update on how I'm doing on the other one. Uh, so now I'm just trying to get those last few kills before somebody, um, can catch up. Got I like running around with the elephant gun, getting a shout out, then if I have to, switching to my shotgun. That's usually how I like to do things. Oh my god, more turrets. Once again, hack the turrets. They're... If no one's around, especially now, always hack them. They give you some good points, you can usually camp around them. I decide not to though, because I'm I'm in my last stretch. I need four kills in that door legs. Door is legs sometimes. You can just walk right through them. Sometimes if they don't open for you. Like I waited, you don't have to wait. It'll let you walk right through them. So although they're lagging, they're not actually lagging. So keep that in mind if you're getting pissed because doors won't open for you. So I see some action over here, so I'm gonna go and take this guy out with a shotgun. I'm gonna switch to my arrow dash here. Get a little arrow dash action. Hit that guy once, try and melee him, hit him once with that, and, you know, finish him up with the shotgun, gonna reload that, and I'm going to arrow dash that guy for some damage and finish him off, because uh, he could have lost me in all my dashing glory. So now I need one kill, I actually need one more kill to finish this game up. So I'm searching, I'm searching, behind in there, another big guy suit appeared, searching, and final headshot with the elephant gun. So it was a great game, I was 20 and 2 I believe, with no assists. So thank you very much for watching guys, if you like more of this, these kinds of playthroughs, um, or not playthroughs, these multiplayer matches, gameplay, uh, please let me know. So remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and leave a comment. I'll uh, see you guys next, next game.